Hi there, Chris here. Um, I got some new locks in that I wanted to show, maybe pick something. Also, Doug, of D Doug picks locks on my last video very closely and astutely. I uh, noticed that these serial numbers were very, very close and wanted, and there was paint over most of this one. So we've just removed the paint. Um, now, I don't know if we can see this or not. He has an inquiring mind and he had to know. So the last two numbers are two six on the right. Oops, two six something. Um, and this one is looks like it's five eight. Is that right? Oh, it was better before I messed with it. All right, come on back. There we go. So uh, A nine two seven two five and this five six and this one is A nine two seven two six eight five eight five eight. So it's <laughs> two numbers off. Son of a gun. And what they came together. No keys. Let's get this down here again. They came together, you know, nested, locked into each other. Um, this one I was able to rock open. I haven't done it on camera yet, but I will, most likely. And this one I have not been able to pick a rock. I'm not sure if the core has a dead spot in it where it just hangs up. But anyway, he wanted to know that, and now he knows. That's pretty damn close. I think that's a, a 20 point win on Paul Springett's scale of number winnings. Uh, also, I got some cool locks just in. I got this CNC, which is a Corbin, right? Man, we can't focus for shit today. Oh, a Corin. Not Corbin, Corin. Made in Europe. Okay, so that's that one. I haven't tried to pick it yet. I got this cool um, Australian Lockwood. with some nice binning. And you can tell these are different from the ones, the American ones, because of this core is way different. And of course it has an Australian key. Um, so I got that. I got a couple of faultless, never, never, I don't know if I've ever seen a faultless. Looks like a quick set. Also, might have put the other ones away. Um, well, okay. You'll see them, I'm sure. Also got another Mako lock. I love these things. I, I picked one. I thought I'm gonna get another one. There's the bidding on the key. Pardon me. And these are great for uh, picking and practice practice picking because they're really subtle. You gotta you gotta work at them and keep at them. So they're a great lock to pick. I have picked this already. I'll pick it on camera one of these one of these days. So real quick, I'll try this guy. I might have one of these. And if I do, I think I've picked it. And I might have got it from Lockmania, if I remember correctly. I'll have to go look. But I could be totally wrong, too. 
So I haven't stuck a pick in this until right now. <clears throat> As you can tell, they haven't even figured out what tension wrench works with it. I keep getting messages on my phone. Obviously none of these work. I'm gonna go back to this one and keep it high. There we go. Oh. Well, I could keep it low, I guess. I really don't like low, though. Kind of defeats the purpose of top of the keyway. I'll give this a couple minutes. I don't like picking, <laughs> I don't like it when it's, you have to pick that way, I like to pick that way. <clears throat> That's all right though. That's minor. I think really it's a tension problem at this point. I might be interfering with that first pin. Oh, I did get a lot of sets. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Okay, that likes to spin right out of there. What about if I did that? Well, that'll work. Maybe. Oh, there's somebody in there that's just in my way. So I'll try something else. Maybe this isn't the simple one that I thought it was. I got a pretty easy one from Lockmania that I picked. And I thought it was this brand. It's like there's one that's rock solid in there. There we go. I just don't want to go up. I guess I could look at the key. Well, that's some good bidding if that's, these are the keys, right? Yeah, well, that's some good bidding. Well, no wonder I'm not getting in here. And it's Friday the 13th. I'm waiting for the, what is it? Not UPS guy, what's the other one? FedEx. I remember FedEx, my iPhone got delivered by FedEx and iPhones are really well packaged in a nice box and everything and, you know, very well protected. And although mine came shaped like a banana, <laughs> it was just bent like, like the shape of a banana. It did not break the screen. It was amazing, but I did have to go to the uh, iPhone store and say, uh, this ain't working for me. They gave me another one. Okay, that's going to be to be picked later. Let's try something really hard like this fault, faultless. <laughs> okay, so that's decent bidding. Let's see if I can get into that. Maybe this is a picking slump. Maybe what we're witnessing is... Because I don't think I've opened anything on camera today. I didn't open my Ilco. Oh, that's what I got. Um, I got a, with these locks, I got a, a really cool Yale, brand new Yale. 
zero bitted sheesh all right come to papa here let's finish this up let's get something picked Feels like somebody in the back. There it was. It looks like five. All right, a faultless. I guess I have to gut this. <laughs> That'll teach me. All right, move this stuff. Ten minutes. I've been posting pretty long videos lately. All right, that's not working. All right, come on, you could do this. Faultless. Little baby spring. Okay, let's not get carried away with that being turned so far. Um, shim. Yeah, I just got these. Did I show this working, the key working? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's a six pin lock, it's pin to five, I could fix that. But everybody needed some good picking, it's all pretty deep in there, there's no... Um, My phone just came out with new phones. You could pre-order them, but uh, I don't think so. Not yet. One. One and a half. Two. Three. Get over there. Four. And five. So that's, that's that. No big deal. I think the little one went on the end. I'll figure that out. What do they look like? Oh, they have a bevel on them. Can't fault that. Ho, 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 faultless. Let me get rid of the shim. Do some focusing. This camera is on the blink today. Yeah, I didn't feel any, I didn't feel any uh, security pins in here. I should practice my wrong hand gutting in case I want to try the my hand at the um, Leon's lock pad vice versa pick for his 1500 subscriber giveaway I'm kind of afraid to do that though I mean I think it's a lot harder than it looks that's what people have been saying um, I think I've seen Cherokee do it, and I think, I think Starry did it, I think AJ did it, and some others. Okay, so there's the pins, they're all stocky stock, but this is the faultless, and those are some locks I got. Oh, let me find that Yale real quick. It's very cool because it's in... Uh, in an original box, zero bittings. 
But it's very pretty. So there's your zero bitted key, which I can certainly. Whoa, what is the deal? I get some thumbs down on this one. There's the Yale zero bitted key. And it's always fun when they're all wrapped up in their little paper. And there is the lock, which is beautiful. Key works. Actually, I have picked this. I, I could not resist picking it. <laughs> no resistance going in and out, but that's because it's the zero bitted. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hit the like. Subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers uh, and commenters. This was the faultless um, five pin faultless lock. All right, thanks a lot. See you next time.